Welcome back to Movie Math, giving you an in-depth look at the box office for the weekend of January 6th, 2012, which got the year off to a hell of a start with Paramount's The Devil Inside. Acquired for just $1 million, the indie exorcism flick pulled in an astounding $34.5 million. Yes, it looks like director William Brent Bell has performed an exorcism on apathetic U.S. moviegoers, and they vomited up the good kind of green. And Hollywood has been quick to play up their new good fortune, hailing the devil inside as a record breaker, with the record being the biggest box office opening for early January. What's next? Crowning movies the record breakers of a specific week or day? On top of that, while CinemaScore announced that audiences had given the movie an F and got a 5.5 here on BTT, Paramount was quick to point out the actual grading breakdown. 16% gave the film an A, 18% a B, 24% a C, 23% a D, and 19% an F. CinemaScore has yet to defend how they averaged that out to an F, and it will be interesting to see what effect this controversy has on the company's legitimacy long term. They had been making quite a name for themselves recently in the industry by labeling a number of films as A or even A+, but might have overreached with this latest attempt to be part of the box office headlines. Nobody likes a wet blanket, especially when Hollywood has been in such a desperate need of a box office victory. And while Paramount is rumored to have spent much more than a million dollars on advertising for The Devil Inside, it's still an impressive debut for such a bare-bones pick. As for the rest of the box office, the biggest news was the survival of two films that could use the attention. Both The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo and Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy were supposed to be major awards contenders here in the U.S. It came up pretty much empty at the Golden Globes. As Academy members cast their votes, though, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo can boast the smallest drop of any film in wide release, while Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy expanded to a little over 800 theaters and entered the top 10 for the first time. And for this coming weekend, Disney 3D is expected to be victorious once more as Beauty and the Beast 3D hits theaters with a brand new Tangled short film for insurance. The industry is predicting the film will open with $20 million, which might not match The Lion King 3D's $30 million opening, but would be pretty good for a film that came out in 3D on DVD just two years ago. Joyful Noise and Contraband also open, with Contraband expected to do the least business. I don't know, Marky Mark, if a 20-year-old animated movie and Dolly Parton beat you at the box office, it might be time to admit you're putting out a funky bunch of movies. Finally, I'd like to give a shout out to BTT viewer Sonia from Germany, who was visiting New York City for the first time last week and just missed us at the theater, only to run into us as we left for the day. And that's this week's box office. I'm Grace Randolph, and we just did some movie math. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope you'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.